Good morning once again, ladies and gentlemen. Lynn Break Gray here with another mini Let's Play. This time it's a classic for the Game Boy Color, Centipede. <clears throat> All right, the uh, demo screen is playing right now, but we're going to go ahead and fix that. Let's head on back to the title screen. Okay, one player. And let's see how far I can get before I die like a bitch. Come on down here, you oversized legged worm. That's what I always considered centipedes, worms with legs. <laughs> uh, uh, nope, no you don't. Mm -mm, no. Look at all the colorful doodads in this game. Okay, we're at level two, y'all. That didn't take long at all. <laughs> Come here, spider. Yeah, gotcha. Got your ass. Yeah. Extermination at its best, y'all. Ooh, a flea. I shall not flee from you. I need the points. Single heads on a uh, on a centipede are dangerous, ladies and gentlemen, because they can roam around the map at will. Oh, I got go. He's getting down here too fast. Ooh, wee, man. Centipedes are mortal. He keeps coming back for more. Sorry for getting right into the gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. I usually do, uh, you know, let the title screen play before anything else. But, I mean, in this case, I wanted to go ahead and try to get the, uh, the Let's Play started as soon as possible. Uh, we just did um, the uh, Bejeweled thing, and we also did uh, some Ghostbusters gameplay. I hope everybody enjoys that. I didn't talk very much, unfortunately. Hey, see the scorpion are coming. Do you think that you can score? Centipede's immortal. He gets coming back for more. Ha, 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 ha. Reach for Atari, y'all. Originally by Atari, but this was actually published by Majesco Games and programmed by the Code Monkeys, who are were monkeying around with Atari code, I suppose. Hmm, shrooms and not the good kind. Take that spider! Oh my gods! Oh my gods! Oh man, he done broke himself up. I got a free. Hmm. So far, so good. Haven't botched this gameplay yet. <laughs> I might do another mini classic before I head on off to bed. Cause oh, damn! Whoop! I botched it. Lost the guy. Get back up there, Elven Archer. I must flee from the flea. The flea. The flea is not happy. The flea. The fee is not pleased. Oh, I wanted him. He was bonus points, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, man, the centipede is just going to keep on coming. Level 12, y'all. It's getting hairy out here. Yeah. Now, if y'all want, I may try to acquire Millipede later on. If That is, if I do get it requested. It's a classic I don't own and I would like to have for my Game Boy. But uh, right now, simply, I just can't um, afford it anymore because like, I blew my entire uh, earmarked wad on the bunch of games that I wanted to get for our Let's Plays for this week. Oh, I had him. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, damn it. I wonder what those clear mushrooms were for. Somebody, it looks like somebody might have smoked them. Okay, I've got two guys left, including what I... Oh, I got another one. I'm not doing too badly, but this is not as fast-paced as the original. I mean, after all, it was a Game Boy Color game. And, you know, those didn't move fast at first. Come on now, old centipede. Level 17, y'all. Oh, no! Ah, damn it. It's starting to get hectic out here. 
I still wonder what those clear shrooms are for. Hmm. Or are they just like black shrooms? I'm not sure. Come on now. Come on. Come on. I do not want to flee that flea. The flea is not happy. The flea is not happy. Got that scorpion. He was a coming. He was a hide a hole coming. Oh, that centipede was a hide a hole coming. Gotta shoot them out of the scat, well, out of the garden anyway. Ah, remember when gardening was so much simpler? You didn't have to worry about giant insects eating your tomatoes, or eating you, for that matter. <laughs> Because everybody was confused about what this game was about. Uh, it's about, you know, protecting a, a sacred garden from giant insects. But nobody ever really knew what the true premise was um, was for this game. But that's what I always thought. You were, a, you were a mystic elven archer trying to protect your garden. And I'm dead. I'm as dead as I can be. Okay. Really? All right, sure, why not? Listen to the cheery music, y'all. <laughs> so cheery that you lost. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not really uh, sick. Um, you know, just, <laughs> just kind of surprised at the cheeriness of the music. LB Ray. <laughs> Limit break ray, y'all. Alright, let's go ahead and let the title screen play for a minute uh, before we get started up because I want you guys to see the detailing in some of the uh, original title screens. Um, they have credits up here, too. I didn't want to let the demo screen play. Really? No. It's not what I wanted. Okay, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is the only way I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to go to Z. Change game packs, yes, and then change the game pack, and then we can start it back up again. Because I wanted everybody to see the detailing for, there's Majesco Sales Incorporated screen, Morningstar Multimedia, which was one of the publishers, um, developed by Accolade Incorporated, and programmed by the Code Monkeys, they were. Centipede, Sid, there it is, 1982, 1995, Atari Corp, licensed by Nintendo. <clears throat> Coding by the Code Monkeys. Always monkeying around with code. Hey, where the hell am I? Really? Seriously? I didn't get my, my score didn't get saved, y'all. <laughs> Alright, let's give it one more shot. I'm gonna try it on novice again. Alright, there we go. Shooting down that there Sentai Pete. Oh. Ah, the mystical music of the stage changing. <laughs> oh my gods, oh my gods. Oh, got killed by a flea. Now, if that didn't happen before. Killed by a flea, ladies and gentlemen, really? Where's some damn, you know, TNT when I need to blow these guys up with? Spiders are not your friends, ladies and gentlemen. Creepy crawlers every damn where. Man, I haven't been this creeped out by creepy crawlers since Operation C. Go on, spider, get away from here. Nobody likes you. Get on out of here. So far, no slimy dudes. I had a lot of slimy dudes earlier in uh, the Ghostbusters uh, gameplay. Now, if anybody wants me to play that again later on so we can uh, complete a couple more missions on it, do let me know. Please let me know. Come on down here. Come on. I want an arrow on you. Oh, the scorpions are coming. Do you think that you can score? Ha, 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 ha. Yes, get lamer and lamer, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the lameness. 
the lameness. Arcade ports were like, not all they were cracked up to be on uh, the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, but some of them live, did live up to the hype. I mean, like Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man, which I now own uh, for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. We will be featuring uh, one of those today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Hopefully, don't lose all my damn guys on the onset. I got to look at that score. That score is nice, isn't it? Got a nice high score. Come here. Always have a problem getting the last one. Anybody ever have the problem with space invaders like that? You always, you always had to have your friend get the last space invader because you couldn't hit him. But here was the trick: you had to shoot where he was going to be, not where he was. I learned that from an old show, <laughs> and it actually does work because I, I played an old version of uh, Space Invaders, and that technique does work. Go where you think he's going to be instead of where he was. You know, that way you don't get crunched by a single space invader. Which is like embarrassing as all hell. <laughs> um, also might try to hit my hand at old good old asteroids. Come on, come on, come on, let me have it. I knew you won't let me have that. I wanna always try to get the scorpion, ladies and gentlemen, because he's bonus points. The fleas are worth a lot of points, too. I mean, because they approach you at high speed. Kind of reminds me of the fireball enemies in uh, um, Solar Striker. But this is not that game, and that is not this. We must destroy the centipede and keep him from eating our maters and our celery and our, our delicious cabbages that we want to have for salads. Okay, this... I'm doing pretty good at level 13 now. Come on now. Almost got got by the flea. The flea does, is not happy. He's definitely not happy. Oh, really? Jip. Jip. That was a jip, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and pause it here. I'm going to switch games out. Um, Go ahead. I'm going to change the packs. Uh, give me a moment. <clears throat> Go ahead and switch out the packs because we're going to go ahead and do this. Is going to be a dual minute, minute let's play, y'all. Oh, I'm really enjoying myself right now. Hope everybody else is. Okay, let's see. Now, where did I put those? Where did I put them damn things? Where are you at? Ah, there it is. Now, we have done this game before on other formats, but we haven't done a Game Boy Color version of it. So, let's go ahead. And have ourselves a chop of a time. Ms. Pac Man Special Color Edition. Now, you can also play this on your regular Game Boy, but not in uh, full color, of course. Um, press start. Of course, you see that we have Super Pac Man and Ms. Pac Man. So, we're going to go ahead and pick Ms. Pac Man. One player. Arcade and hard are selectable. As you can see, it's not full screen on here, but. Hopefully, I have better control of Ms. Pac. Nope, I do not. Mm -hmm. I actually have better control on the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy, y'all. Come here, you little blues. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna on up. Oh, yeah. So delicious. Making me hungry. I might have a snack after this Let's Play, y'all. Oh, I got eaten. <laughs> Cherry delights, y'all. Mm. That's what I get for wanting cherries. Mm. Uh, because the, the map has to actually scroll, it was a little harder playing this on a Game Boy. But, I mean, it was fun. You know, it was just the fun of it. And you had Pac-Man in your pocket. Ms. Pac-Man in your pocket, that is. Oh, Ms. Pac-Man in my pocket. She's happy to see me because she's in my pocket. <laughs> ah, damn it. That was a great opportunity to get them all in one uh, one area. Notice how they get back to the maze really fast, ladies and gentlemen. 
Okay, I wasn't gonna get that last guy anytime soon. Oh, I must make my escape. Oh, I didn't escape in time. <laughs> that was my last Ms. Pac-Man game over, y'all. All right, let's give it one more shot because I still got time in this minute. Let's play for another shot at it. Okay, one player. All right, let's go ahead and do some chomp of the chomp. Yeah, the Game Boy Color came out with several ports, including the ones that I did include, like Moon Patrol and Spy Hunter, which were excellent ports. You just had to learn the controls. Get out of here, Blinky. Nobody likes you. I warned you, didn't I? Didn't I, boy? I warned you. Now, see, now you got eight. That's what happens. That's what happens, man. Get my way, get eight. Not in a good way. <laughs> Oh, I had an opportunity to get that cherry and I missed it. Mmm, smorgasbord of ghosts. Mmm, delicious. So hungry, so hungry. Gonna try and save that for later, ladies and gentlemen. Let me chomp on down here. Chomping on downtown. Oh, yeah. Go out through here. I love the escape tunnel thing, because... Um, well, that didn't help me out in, in this particular case. Um, extra escape tunnels were actually added to Ms. Pac-Man. Uh, the original Pac-Man only had two escape tunnels. And Ms. Pac-Man boasted, uh, four. So she could, oh, get away faster, damn it. All right. Chop these dots. Dit, dit, dit. It could mean any freaking thing. Dit, dit, dit. Dit, 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 dit. Oh, did, did, did. <laughs> All right, one more shot with Ms. Pac-Man, ladies and gentlemen. And then we're going to move on to the extra game that's on here. Uh, it's late morning. I had a wonderful Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, I had the time of my life. I am telling you, it was just fantastic. I mean, when you go to shop for retro games, ladies and gentlemen, disc replay... It's one of the best places to go. Unfortunately, GameStop used to be that way. They used to deal in a whole lot of different things. Now they're just a huge conglomerate that only deal with the current. Um, and some, some older systems that they now deem older systems. I mean, they're only, they, they only carry the DS stuff. I mean, but at this replay, you can find yourself a treasure trove of games, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they own me. Oh, I'm teaching to be on me. Teaching to be on me. Oh. Oh, there was no escape, ladies and gentlemen. There was no escape. Oh, my God. I'm botching this up so badly. Oh, I done, I done killed several Ms. Pac-Man trying to complete a single maze, ladies and gentlemen. That wasn't a good thing, I'm going to tell you that right now. I don't know why I went back that way. I don't know how it's going to be possible for me to get any more of these ghosts. Oh, I got eight. Damn it. Thought I was going to be able to get him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the game's over for that. All right, uh, I wonder what half means. Let's see what this half means, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, let me get back to arcade. Half screen. I don't know what half screen means. I, I we're gonna give Ms. Pac-Man one more shot though, because we're almost, I'm almost uh, out of time for this mini let's play. So we may not get to the extra game on here. Chomp at a chomp on that Game Boy Color. The Game Boy Color did have some excellent games in its day, in the heyday. And it did have its, its fair share, even though it was a, only a modest upgrade to uh, the original Game Boy and Game Boy Pocket. Oh, damn it. I am not able to get these corners right. I know a certain someone who likes this game is just laughing their ass off at me right now. 
old champity champ. Now I'm hungry. Might make some popcorn. I'm not sure. Not sure. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, come on. Give me that last one. Oh, I knew it. Let me see if I can get the cherry. Oh, got the cherry. Doing pretty well. Can I get them all? Can I get them all? I got them all. Yep, I collected them all. Gotta chomp them all. all. <laughs> I'm losing all my guys. Let me get them last couple up here, ladies and gentlemen. Probably gonna try and end this maze. End this mini let's play. Let me see if I can get them all to come out here. Come on down here. Come on, Pinky. Come on. Come on with your bad self. Oh, damn. Didn't even get to eat one of them. Okay. This Let's Play is starting to run a bit long again. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stay in the maze before I get chomped on. One thing's for sure, this game was amazing. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for our mini Let's Play of Ms. Pac-Man and Centipede. But before we do that, let's see what let's see what half maze is. I want to see what that is. Oh my goodness, I could have done this, really? Seriously? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's see how this fares. I could have just done it this way, really? Seriously? Not as she's not as detailed. But hey, you know, can't have everything, I guess. <laughs> it looks so silly. So very silly. Look at the cherry. Look at the taste of cherry. It's just fun sitting down and just playing <coughs> games from the past and getting eaten up. <laughs> Losing all your guys because you're tired. <laughs> I'm going to be presenting some more Treasure Trove games uh, later on. And, some, you know, we're going back to Dishonored sooner or later. Um, right now, I really um, just have been concentrating on retro games and, uh, you know, just trying to make sure that all, everybody gets what they want and, you know, and still have fun. <laughs> still have fun with it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that was ridiculous. And, you know, to reiterate on an earlier Let's Play of this particular type of game, my stepdad hated these games. He really did. He thought, he really did honestly think that Pac-Man was a, uh, a product of the devil. I mean, how Stone Age is that? Really? Seriously? Okay. Didn't think we were going to get the flashy flash. Hmm? Alright, let's see how far I can get with one Ms. Pac-Man. Doing pretty good so far. Oh! Damn it. Got crunch. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for Namco's uh, miniature version of Ms. Pac-Man. Um, hope everybody enjoyed it. Hope everybody has a wonderful Sunday. I hope everybody remembered to turn their clocks ahead for daylight savings time. You guys over there in Namibia, Africa, you don't have to turn yours ahead because, well, you're already about, what, seven, eight hours ahead of us? Possibly, maybe. Shout out to uh, Miss Yvonne Hannibal, who really loves this game, uh, Debbie Debs. And, uh, you know, shout out to Mama, even though she doesn't really watch my channel. But Mama, I hope you did, uh, you know, enjoy a couple of the other things that I had on, on Facebook uh, for you. Uh, anyway, that's it for this mini Let's Play. My name is Limit Break Ray. Have a happy Sunday. I have reached my limit. And, goodbye.